on this episode of Counting Cars. It's Alice Cooper's car. I mean, it looks like a decent car. It's not going to fit with the Ford motor. If we didn't have challenges thrown at us, just think how boring our lives would be. But this bike kind of reminds me of something I would have. A 111 SNS motor. Wow. Dude. Six-speed transmission. Perfect. Mm -hmm. This is going to fly. Yeah. Are you ready to see this thing? Oh, man. Shannon, bring out Gordy's bike. <laughs> Ryan, not to get emotional here. He wants to try. You're ready to see this? I am so ready. Come on, brother, bring out that beautiful Avanti. Oh, I see. Look at that. Nothing looks like that. That is so beautiful. This is Counting Cars. So it should be exciting when we get to the shop. Mike's new signs are going to be up. Today's the day. Today. He's putting them up. Yeah. Oh, dude, I can't wait to see this stuff. I know. So Kevin and I were out checking out a possible flip when I hear that horny Mike has hung up the brand new shop signs that he convinced me to pay for that, of course, he was going to make. Bam! The concept is phenomenal. We just got to make it pop. You know, when you gamble on horny Mike, it's always a train wreck. I'm just praying. But this time, you got it right. Well, let's see. What has Mike done? Oh, I see some. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Like I see him out here working, too. Oh, boy. Oh, well, it kind of ruins the surprise that if he just ruined. rolls up on us. <laughs> you know, I, don't know I, I can't do I can't do a little to die when you just roll up on us. You know, I don't have a sheet to rip off the building. <laughs> Mike, you have done a fantastic job. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> First off, the buildings look great. They had their original paint job on them, so uh, they were pretty much toast. We fixed everything we could find. Fresh coat of paint, power wash. Wonderful. But now we got to talk about the signs. I just want to start over here. Man. I love the address signs on the buildings, man. This sign, the colors are right on the money. Everything is dimensional, man. Way better than when they were just airbrushed on the building. Right. They're, they're, they're beautiful. And you made gorgeous CK letters. They needed to be a little bigger. You know, the ones that were up there, they were kind of skinny. Right. They didn't have a background. It was so. dull, man. As soon as you turn that corner, now Damn. things start smacking you in the face. Dude, it's beautiful. But let's go look at this I, monster down. sign. Good Lord Almighty. I went a little crazy on this one. The main <laughs> sign. Oh, dude. Look at all the pearl in this. Oh, it had to have it, man. It had to have it. All the flake in it, all the everything in it. I want it to twinkle. I want it, I want it to be jewelry. Dude, I, I absolutely, my gosh, I stand over here and the sun starts coming over. That's the coolest piece I've seen in a long time. Sincere congrats, man. Hey. You tore it up. Yeah. Anyways, but that's not it. That's not it. What do you mean? Uh, I got a little surprise for you. I hate surprises, but OK. Uh, don't look at me. Why I am I nervous? Know, I, Why am I nervous right now? I have now? no idea. Oh, the gate's opening. Oh, 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 dude! We had to step up the gate. Now that—that <laughs> that is proper, man. Bam! That is way better. You can see that sucker from the moon. You ain't kidding, Mike. Wow. Mike, <laughs> that is unbelievably cool. Well, wow! This, this is, is amazing, bro. Thanks, man. I, I, I really dig it. This is important because when a client comes to get their vehicle, I, I I love to, you know, bring it out of here. Yeah. And this this just 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 makes the ta-da factor, you know, that much more stronger, that much more bolder. I love it. As a matter of fact, I kind of want the experience, man. Show me, make, make, make the thing run. I want to I want to I want to watch I want to watch a gate run. All right. Thanks, bro. This is um, but he did a great job. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, dude. In the winter? That's all. When okay, the sun goes go. down early? Here we go. Wait, wait. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what? I didn't notice something. <laughs> I didn't see the roller. Uh, because that other cross uh, was on, it was welded to it was. It was in. But it was flat on this, and mine is elevated up. Uh, hey, man. I feel so much better now because the buildings are perfect, the signs are perfect, 99% perfect. 
got one little slice of horny Mike in this. Right. I ain't gonna right. lie, I thought it was going too well, too. Can't open the gate. Well, I gotta say, man, Horny Mike knocked it out. Well, almost completely knocked it out of the park. I mean, once he gets the uh, giant gate sign fixed because it almost hits the roller there, <laughs> things will be better. But I gotta tell you, I give him credit. He took the initiative. He did an amazing job, and it's beautiful. Just fix that gate, Mike. Mike. The gate is stunning. I know you'll have this thing back to operational in no time. I don't even know what to say besides thank you very, very much. Unbelievable. Ryan, my brother, it's Studebaker Avanti time. <laughs> yeah, it's another fiberglass body. I know, I know. Hey, Adam, what's happening, bro? What's up, boss? Uh, not too much. A little while back, got a visit from unbelievable rocker, Mr. Alice Cooper himself. There he is. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend himself, <laughs> Alice Cooper. You brought me a cool car. Not a lot of people even knows, know what these are. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's really different. And what year is this one? This is 63. 63. Alice brought me his 1963 Studebaker Avanti. Wants this car to be a way cool daily driver. Who can blame him? This thing's got outrageously good looks, but I gotta tell you, under the hood, not so thrilling. Although when this car came out, it was the fastest production car on the market. This thing broke like 29 different speed records at the Bonneville Salt Flats. But this particular one, the power plant is a bit tired. So we're gonna wake this baby up with a brand new engine for Mr. Alice Cooper himself and redo the whole car in old school cool, just like the man who's gonna be driving it. Anyways, Adam, how are we doing here? Because, I mean, it looks like a decent car. And it's, uh, it's, clean. it's Alice Cooper's, so uh, it already has a ton of importance to it. Yeah, it really doesn't matter at that point. It, it <laughs> makes no difference what the condition of the car is. It's Alice Cooper's car. Right, we're going to make it gorgeous. I see the interior is completely out of it, which is great. <laughs> the comedy about that is when I was talking to Alice about the car, you know, the whole interior was in it, you know. It was a whole, it was a whole car when I got here. And uh, the interior was just, I just need a few things just, you know, fixed up here and there. You said a couple touch-ups. Right, and, and this, is how, this is how we touch it up. It's gutted. So the object of the game on the car when I talked with him about it was, wants the appearance of the car to appear very much like the 63 Studebaker Avanti that it is. Yeah. But it's all about, I want to be able to drive it every day. I want it to be dependable. I want it to have a little more pep in its step. I'm going to turn my air conditioning on. Brakes are good. So, what's the plan? Yeah, no, we're good. We'll have modern motor, fuel injection, all that stuff. So, we'll probably just go LS1, LS2, or even the LQ, just because he doesn't need tons of horsepower. It'd be three something, four L60, and then, you know, and then the resto mod and easy. It already had a big aluminum radiator. Change your motor mounts, bing, bing, yeah. boom, like, motor in. No problem. So, I made all the measurements. Okay. And everything will clear just right. Because the way the LS is with no distributor or anything, and the way this engine compartment is, it'll actually like fit perfect. Yeah, I'll have perfect. room for the booster. Like, everything will be... That's relatively... It should be fairly simple. That should be easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's, what's that? Yeah. What's that? Um, we, have, uh, we have our first issue. Everything yeah, you said just sounds fantastic. There's and, no and, issues. And this will be easy. I agree with you. Like, I could have it in, like, tomorrow. I'm getting ready to mess that up for you. We're not you? putting the original motor. No. The original motor's not going back in. Okay. Here's the problem. What's the problem? While the Chevy... LS and the 4L60 drivetrain is phenomenal and will just go right in. Yeah. Alice is hardcore Ford. He's a Detroit boy and he's a <laughs> Ford man. And I understand that. But the way that the... Okay. I know. I'm looking Here's right at problem. it. So when you say Ford, the Ford oil pan is right here. I know. All Chevy right. oil pan is back here. I know. I'm looking at it. That's not going to fit with the Ford motor because the Ford pickup is in the front. Yep. And even the shortest pan is about six and three eighths. Well, you know, if, if we didn't have challenges thrown at us, just think how boring our lives would be. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> <clears throat> just trying to make it quick and easy, so. <laughs> it's all Ford. As I must appropriately say right now, welcome to my nightmare. Here's the problem. While the Chevy LS and the 4L60 
60 drivetrain is phenomenal and will just go right in. Yeah. Alice is hardcore Ford. That's not gonna fit with the Ford motor. We've got rock and roll icon, Mr. Alice Cooper, 63, Studebaker Avante in the shop right now. So my man, Ryan and Adam and I, we're gonna kind of go over a plan of attack of what we're gonna do. Cause see, Alice wants more horsepower and he wants it to be a lot more dependable. And what Alice wants, Alice gets. If we didn't have challenges thrown at us, just think how boring our lives would be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and the only way we're gonna fit a Ford in here would be to clip it. Okay, you know, a front clip is definitely a great idea on this. But I can <laughs> see all the issues here yeah. of doing an updated Ford motor. So if we clipped it, this is a full frame car. We're cutting the frame. Yeah, I would cut it right here in front of those body mounts. Right. And clip it. If we do clip it, it will drive so much better, yeah. steer so much better, it will be safer. Yeah. And the Ford drivetrain he wants will fit beautiful. Okay. So here's what I need to do now. The ball is now firmly back in my court. Uh, I will uh, contact Alice. Uh, we can't just uh, take a torch to this man's frame yeah. until I call him. Trust me, I'd rather not clip it because that's more work for me. I but it is if a lot we of do work. clip it, it's, it's everything he wants. It's going to be proper. It's killing like a whole flock of birds with one stone. Yeah. We're going to make it gorgeous for him. You know Alice back in the day creeped some people out with that nightmarish performances that he would do on stage, man. But right now here at Counts Custom, we got our own little nightmare going on. Working on this 63 Studebaker Avante, there are challenges. Putting a new engine in, yeah, we'll work that one out. But reclipping the whole car, that is a big challenge. I mean, we're literally changing the entire frame and chassis on the front end of this car. So I think I'm going to call Alice first, make sure he's cool with it before we start cutting it up. Yeah. So I'll just take all those measurements and just, <laughs> I'll just burn them or something. Just you know. throw them in the trash, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sorry about that. All right, let's go find Ryan. Come all right. In. Right. Yo. Wow. What are you standing on? Doors. <laughs> How you doing? Got a new client, Gordy. How Sorry about doing? the dirty hand. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet right. you, Gordy. Our new client, Gordy, wants a custom chop. He's a neighbor of an old client of ours and really liked his bike. Now I gotta get with Ryan to make sure we make his bike the coolest chop on the block. We are building Gordy a cool chopper. Nice, man. Yeah. Welcome to the family. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. So we're here to talk about the paint, man. All right, so what do you got in mind? Well, I was thinking, first of all, pretty dark somewhat subtle. Okay. Type of, you know, something that doesn't stand out paint-wise, like, from a distance. But then when you get up, you know, towards it, maybe you start seeing some artwork. Uh -huh. Or, uh... So you're talking, like, uh, like black dark? Like black, yeah, definitely. Satin black. Yeah, no color. Yeah. No color. So that's... The only options there are satin black with some gloss black. What kind of artwork? I want to kind of put some of the tattoos I have on my body okay. on the bike. Well, without stripping down your, yeah. your skivvies, what kind of artwork are we looking at? Um, some kind of moderately religious. Like uh, Jesus and... Yeah. Virgin Mary, Virgin Jesus. Mary. Man, Gordy, lots of artwork. No color. Yeah. No color. Dark. What's popping into my head right now is, is kind of like a, a stained glass window. Yeah. But to try and do that... Without color? Without color. Wow, Gordy. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, get, you got me at a loss of words. Uh, okay. Faith, you can do it, man. But even like Danny's uh, Street Glide. Okay. That yeah. thing is covered in artwork, but it's, it's straight satin. Really dark. And his is straight satin, no Wait, gloss. Great. And it's very difficult to see the artwork. Yeah, I'm going I'm to have to test some stuff. I'm going to have to put the thinking cap because that's. Mm -hmm. All right, Gordy. I, I accept your challenge, All man. All right. Yeah. Over the years at Counts Customs, I've been asked to do some next to impossible things. And as far as I'm concerned, between me and the team, we've pulled it off almost every single time. However, when a customer comes to me and wants a ton of intricate artwork, all black on black, I got to say this time, I think Gordy's setting me up to crash and burn. You got this, man. Come on now. All right, Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Man, 
That's been a long time since we stumped them with something. Yeah, challenge them. There he is, Kettle Bob. Hey, hey, how are you, my brother? I'm great. We're lucky enough to be working on Alice Cooper's Avanti. Man, this car is just as cool as Alice himself. Now, Bob's working on the interior, says things are going great. I'm going to go check it out, see what it looks like. I can see that you got my message about stopping in. When Ghetto calls, I'm here. I get it. So I want to talk to you about all this. Yes, someone appears to have uh, thrown up an Avante all over your floor. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few issues. Let's start with this first. This is the captain seat. Can you see what I see? I do. I do. It has been patched. Yeah. Horribly. Yeah. The heat has killed it. Yeah. You know, all the, look, there's no thread in here. Yeah. It's uh, falling apart. It's come undone. It's old. Yeah. It's been in, in the heat. Right. It's been cooked. For ages. As much as we thought it was beautiful and nice and reusable, in the car. Right. We never even saw it. It looked like it would just needed to be clean. Like right. it was dirty or something. Right. Because originally we were just going to not touch it because it looked beautiful. It looked good, but I can see that this is aged, dry rotted, and coming apart. So the last thing I want to do is return his car to him and say, it's great. And in you know a couple of months, everything is falling apart. I know that Alice wanted the car to appear as factory as humanly possible as far as appearance is concerned. OK. But outside, it's still going to look like a 63 Avanti. And inside, he wants it to look like a 63 Avanti. So I'm going to say we need to go back to stock. So this crazy teal bluish yeah. color we're going to do? Let me call the man Okay. and talk to him and let him know that if he wants to change anything, now's, now's the time. The time. Right. And if he wants to stay factory, then this is what we're going for. Okay. But I'll let him know we're redoing everything. Whether we do it back custom? Right or stock, right. it still needs to be done. So at this point, I would say, wait. <laughs> well, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna take anything apart. Right. I got it right here. Right. My first thought was go ahead and start stripping everything, but don't. No. Don't. I, I wanna wait until right. we get it. Mm. Uh, until Choose I get colors. the word from him, you're on hold, brother. Cool. Thank you I will for it. showing me this. And uh, now Thank you I for can. coming by on a short notice. Twist my arm. Twist my arm. This, this car is way too important for any corners to be cut. Right. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll get you an answer ASAP. Perfect. Shannon, my man. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? Ah, uh, fitting this seat pan on here. Dude, this is looking great. I'm great, bro. Yeah. Good to see you, man. This, is, this is looking fantastic. This is like us. Right here. Oh, yeah, to the T. Yep. Uh, this is beautiful. What's the story? So a customer's name's Gordy. Yeah. And he came to us looking for a cool chop. So remember that Marlboro Man bike we built a few years back? The tribute to the Marlboro Man bike? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, Johnny, okay. who owned that who bike. Who owned that bike? Cool guy. Gordy's his neighbor. That is a great reflection on you and the team, because right, as yeah. neighbors, you know they're talking. Which you can tell they have different tastes because this oh, looks yeah. nothing like the other bike. Well, you know, the Marlboro Man bike was an FXR with the shocks removed and struts, so it was rigid-ish, so to speak. Right. But this bike is, uh, it, it's, it, it kind of reminds me of something I would have. And Gordy's been to our shop. OK. He's seen the collection and whatnot. OK. Fell in love with Ozzy's bike. Fell in love with Ozzy's. I, I agree. I love that bike. And he also fell in love with Coffin. So he's taken some things from different bikes and kind of put them together. Stirring it up. Right. Here you guys are. <laughs> Kevin hey, Mack. Hey, hey. Hey. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Good, good, How good. How you doing? What's up, boss? Everything good? Everything's good. good. Was... We're just going over the scoop. OK. Yep. Shannon was telling me that this guy, he's uh, kind of loves our style, loves the Aussie bike, loves my coffin bike, oh, all okay. that kind of stuff. So he wants a long front end. Yeah, 20 over. 20, 20. over Sugar Bear. Nothing, yeah. nothing crazy. This, I got to tell you, man. Shan, I'm really digging this wheel. I love the styling on it and the pulley here and the rotor. Right. That's nice. That yeah. contrast cut. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful, that man. Is. And it goes great with the, uh, the oh, black yeah. engine. 
a 111 SNS motor. Wow. Dude. Six speed transmission. Perfect. Mm -hmm. This is going to fly. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be real nimble, real well, easy. Yeah. The 20 over Sugar Bear, uh, you know, Ozzy's bike and my coffin bike are 30 overs. Right. But the 20 over, uh, it's going to handle wonderful. Shannon, just a question. Mm -hmm. What is your estimated time of completion on this? Well, we got all the hard parts. So it's just a matter of me finishing up all the fab work and getting it to run into the paint. So we're probably about, if I had to guess the way it looks now, we're about three weeks, maybe? Yeah. Dig it. Sounds, sounds good. Shannon, I dig Sweet. it. Yeah. A uh, great job on this. Uh, this guy obviously has good taste. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He came to the right place. Yeah. He picked uh, all the cool stuff from all the cool bikes and stirred it up in one pot. So this is so right up your alley. Uh, you probably are building this in your sleep. Great job. Cool. As Thank usual. You. As usual. Shan, you're the best. Kevin, you got a couple minutes? Yeah. Want to okay. go over some? Take all it right. easy, brother man. Keep doing what you do, Shan. You're Thank killing you it. Thank you, guys. It's beautiful. Ryan, my man, hanging out with Mr. Alice Cooper's Avanti. Uh-huh. Love it. So I've already called Alice regarding cutting off that whole front of the frame of his Avanti and putting that brand new clip in there, and he is on board, and I'm on a roll with good news on this car. Ryan tells me he's got more. I'm gonna go check in with him, see what it is. How's it going on this thing? She's in way better shape than most of the Corvettes we get. Okay. There's a little bit of damage right there, but the pieces are still there, so we're not having to make any molds or anything like that. Yeah. Reproduce a piece. Yeah. That's a quick fix. Some of the seams at the top, at one time someone got into those and we're trying to fix them. Okay. Not bad, that's, that's expected. Well, and being a fiberglass car, like the Corvettes we brought in. They flex, they move around, they right. inherently crack. They always do. Little corners like that. Everything looks pretty good on this side. What do you mean on this side? Well, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right around the back, everything looks nice and solid. Just your typical seams and cracks, no big deal. The caps, I'm not sure if these are a factor, if they've been replaced, but not a bad job. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Feathered out nice. We'll be able to do all the, the typical seam stuff on there. No Beautiful. cracks in the wheel wells, yeah. which is shocking. Great. Dude, this is, this is a really great body. Is he just typical? Yeah. Nothing? No big deal? No, right? that's not bad at all. Until we get to the big deal. Oh, wow, dude. This car has been hit uh -huh. at some time in its life. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like it's been hit pretty good. Because remember right here, this is where all the paint, the material was kind of freaking out and cracking. Right. Uh, but what it did is it pushed the whole nose over. You see how there's a big bow right there? Sure do. I see it. And it's not on the other side. Yeah, that side's not bowing. And it also blew it apart from the inner structure. Yep. It was hit hard enough to where it split from the inner structure. Yep. And I can't even tell, just by looking at this, if this was an actual replacement part or someone actually popped the mold off this. I think it's salvageable. Mm -hmm. We cut it, relieve it, pull it back, glass it all back in. I don't know what it looks like underneath, so we'll probably need to cut the piece off uh -huh. and address anything on the backside. Okay. But it's at least three to four more days. Understood. Just here. Understood. If this one corner is our biggest, scariest issue, I think we got lucky. Absolutely. Doors were beautiful, hood was beautiful, the deck lid was immaculate. So far, everything else other than this, okay. It's really nice. Okay, 98% of this thing is great. We got 2% to deal with over here. You know, Alice Cooper is one cool cat, and I love the fact that we're gonna return to him a way cool car. He brought us a great Avanti, had some damage, thing was in an accident at one time in its life, but other than that, I gotta say, a fine example. I cannot wait to return this car to Alice and him lay his eyes on it. Ryan, you just gave me good news, man. As long as you're, as long as you're cool with three to four days, Dude, I'm great with it. I'm great with it. I want it. I want that car to be so perfect for this guy. He's he's the coolest cat. I want this thing to be perfect. So I was unaware that you sanded it down. Yeah, I, I didn't know you Jim. sanded it. Well, gentlemen and Mike. Hey, <laughs> you know, one out of two is not that bad. I'm hearing that you're working on something cool. A while back, Shannon built a wicked chopper for a great client, and his neighbor fell in love with it, and now he wants a bike for himself. He's got some ideas for some artwork that's even stumped my man Ryan. Can't wait to see how this comes out.
I know my man Ryan, and he's got a plan that's probably going to make Gordy's bike so gorgeous that his neighbor's going to come back and want another Counts Customs custom. This is the tank for uh, Gordy's chopper. We're going to do multi-layer 3D graphics all in black. Oh, wow. We've done it before, but we've done graphics, you know, linear graphics that didn't look like a face or a, yeah. a, a, a Scallops, actual artwork. Flames, exactly. panels. Exactly. Right. This is the first time we're actually doing images that have to be recognizable. Right. So, so this is his actual artwork, like tattoo artwork that he's got on him. Yeah, because he wants the whole bike to be satin. Monochromatic. I'm not messing with any colors. This is the part where we normally would be using paint. Correct. In this case, we're using primer to build it up, so we're building up uh, layers that we Got normally it. don't want in paint. We want everything nice and flat and smooth with the primer. I just want to make sure I get this correct. Mm -hmm. You are taping the artwork. Yep. And then building it up with the primer after you've already done the artwork merely in tape. Right. So then when you peel the tape, you have Exactly. The carving, so to speak. Exactly. So All right. I'm only t untaping the outside. Yeah, peel it, peel it. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious, too. I want to see how this looks. See that? That is impressive. That's Clean. a sharp line. Mm -hmm. Look at those edges. I never thought, I was, you know, when I've seen you do it, I never knew you would sanded it down. That's impressive, right? So imagine the whole bike with all these sharp lines with the images. <laughs> OK. So everything starts building up more and more and more and more. I love it. This is, this, is, this is really cool to see this process happen. I can't wait to see this all done, bro. You and me both, because again, this is, this is all new territory. First shot. We did a bike a few years back that caught the attention of that client's neighbor. So that cat contacted us and wants a full custom bike done. And he's got some very specific ideas about the paint. It's going to make Ryan use some paint techniques that he has never done before. Well, it's judgment day, and Gordy and his wife Cheryl are here right now to check out this beautiful bike. I know I love it, and I know they are going to dig this thing. Gordy, you ride. How long have you been riding, brother? Uh, since I was in my 20s, 30-something years. Good. Good. Cheryl, do you ride? I ride on. <laughs> ride on. All right. Good. Cool. And yeah. what, what do you normally ride? I've got a 2015 uh, Street Glide. Great bike. And then my dad gave me a uh, 1999 Road King. Road King. Fantastic bike. So whose idea was this, was the 3D vibe on this bike? Well, I'm or... calling it 3D vibe. What do you call it? <laughs> Embossing. Uh, Gordy had a collection of artwork. Okay. Most of it on him. Okay. He's carrying it with him right now. <laughs> so Gordy wanted a, a very, very dark bike. He wanted a satin. Mm -hmm. So how do I get all this artwork that needs color but can't have color, get it all under a satin, blah, 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 mm -hmm. light bulb, do everything like it's engraved. Yeah. Are you ready to see this thing? Oh, yes. man. I can't wait. I, I, can't, I can't say enough <laughs> nice things about this. Shannon, bring out my bike! I mean, Shannon, bring out Gordy's bike! <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That is so sweet. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Try not to get emotional here. He wants to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh man, this chopper is drop dead gorgeous. Shannon and Ryan threw everything at her, plus the kitchen sink. Shannon went to town with a custom craft tech frame, a 111 cubic inch SNS engine, and a six speed transmission that's going to take Gordy's highway cruising to a whole new level. And it wouldn't be complete without a 25 over Sugar Bear front end. Gordy wanted an all black bike with artwork inspired by his own tattoos. And all I can say is that Ryan is up the ante once again. The layered black on black designs all throughout the gas tank and fender gives this bike a classy, cool, three dimensional look that grabs your attention and won't let go. Man, this bike came out so cool that I think I got some ideas for my next ride. Oh, Go ahead God. and touch. Go yeah. ahead and touch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah try this thing on, man. Yeah. It, it, it is so you, bro. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that's so. Oh, this is so perfectly fit to me. And it's beautiful. Dude, shoulder to bar, everything. That's it's, it. It's the right height. It's, it's the whole bit. Oh, feel yeah. good. Oh, it's just. Stand this thing up. Just stand it up and turn in bars oh. lock to lock, side to side, all the way left and all the way yeah. right. Just just turn them all the way. There's no weight. Oh, yeah. There's no flop. Yeah. <laughs> Gordy feels good, don't it? Oh, amazing. Shannon, tell us a little bit about her mechanically. Six speed transmission, big old 240 rear tire. And no weight. This is a light bike. Yeah. 111 with a six speed. Good lord. Bup, 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 bup. You couldn't pick the better style of bike, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. Ryan, the finish on it is something to behold. I only wish that everybody could see it face yeah. to face. This yeah. thing is three dimensional. I mean, you can touch it and feel the artwork on it. Tell us about that process, Ryan. I can honestly tell you that there's not a single person in the shop that knew what the hell I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, um, I wasn't spraying paint for you know the artwork and the color. I was literally spraying primer. So I, I primed over all my tape, unpeeled the whole thing, painted it black, put some satin clear on there. That's basically it. Wow. Yeah. Well, one of the things that you asked me or told me is you didn't want this to be known as the church bike. Right. What do you think? You did. Yeah, I mean that. That <laughs> you hit the nail on the head, man. I mean that was perfect. So Cheryl, let me ask you, fits him? Beautiful. You did it? You nailed it. You guys are above and beyond nailed it. So if he wants to ride it in the house and put it in the living room, you gonna be okay with that? No, but. <laughs> <laughs> we tried, Gordy. Like, this is beautiful. Stamp of approval, sir? It's far beyond what I could have imagined. Uh, I'm in love with it. Amen. When this thing is parked wherever you have it, it's going to draw people in just because it's so wicked looking. And then when they get up on it, they're going to start noticing stuff. So oh, yeah. let's do this. Let's go to the office. Let's get some paperwork going. Let's get you in the wind. Let's do it. <laughs> Man, I got to tell you, this bike was a challenge, but it came out gorgeous. Gordy is happy. I am happy. And I got to tell you, Ryan pulled out all the stops. His subtle beauty is all over this bike. I gotta say, man, the closer you get to this bike, the more you see it just keeps going and going. This is definitely gonna fix Gordy's bike envy, and he's gonna be the talk of the town wherever he goes on this ride. I love it. And I'm, I'm not kidding you, too. You're, go you're going to get addicted to the ride. Yeah. You're not gonna believe you're on a rigid with no rear suspension at all. You're not gonna believe that front end is 20 inches over stock. It just rides beautifully. And a few months back, rock and roll icon himself, Mr. Alice Cooper, brought me his 1963 Avanti that he wanted to make into a daily drivable car. But it was important to him that this thing kept that fresh off the factory floor look. Man, when I look at this car now, my boys not only restored this ride, frankly, they made a time machine. So this 63 Avanti, I gotta tell you, has seen some better days, man. But we put a lot of time in it. We made this fiberglass body perfect. It's gorgeous. And we gave it some attitude, man, with that new Wicked engine and transmission and a monster stereo that's only worthy of a rock and roll legend like Mr. Cooper himself. Now, he is here right now, and he's gonna lay his mascara-ridden eyes upon this car. And I cannot wait to see the look on his face because I got the feeling he's gonna dig it. Man, today's a glorious day. It's, couldn't it, be nice. I mean, it already is for me because I'm hanging out with legend Alice Cooper. Let me hit you with something here for a second. You have been entertaining the world for years. 55. 55 yeah. years. Yeah. Amazing. Also, I wanted to tell you, Detroit Stories, your new record, I call them records, debuted number one on the Billboard charts. Only number 48 one. years apart in the last number one. You so deserve it. It's, yeah. it's, it's awesome. Now, you really brought us an unusual car. I did. A 1963 Studebaker Avanti. Yes. My lord, that's a very unusual car. I saw this Avanti and I yeah. went, nothing looks like that. Yeah. That's the most unique looking car. Yeah. Yes, you wanted to keep a factory appearing yes. car. Yes. Uh, but you wanted to update things. And, and when you see her, she looks stock, but there's something about her that's different. You ready to see this? I thing? am so ready. Kevin Mack! Come on, brother, bring out that beautiful Avanti! She's got a bad attitude about this. Oh, I can hear it already. Oh, it's, I mean, look at that. I know. 
Uh -huh. Nothing looks like that. No. No. Oh, yeah. It still looks like it should be in the future. I agree. That is so beautiful. To turn this cool old school relic into a reliable and powerful daily driver, we dropped in a smoking hot Blueprint 302 Ford engine that can easily crank out 370 horsepower. For interior styling, my man Ghetto Bob did what he does best. He fixed all those old school tarnished seats and made them like new. He hand molded a brand new dash console with all new air correct dash gauges and installed a killer sound system fit for a rock star. The fab team also worked their magic and got the body straightened up and fixed the collision damage that was hidden under all that old paint. Once that was done, Ryan topped her off with a factory fresh Wimbledon white paint job that looks even better than when it rolled onto the showroom floor in 1963. This car is cool, fast, and one of a kind, just like its own. It just looks like some kind of an animal that would eat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out the inside. The interior is all brand new, brother. Oh, look all at this. brand new. And it's turquoise, 60s yes. turquoise. Yes. The dashboard that was in the car was done. And it's not like you can just, you know, call up your local auto parts store and get a dash for a 63 Avanti. So my man Bob. He had to actually build it. splashed a mold off of your old dash wow. and made this dash it, by hand. It looks like it's been there forever. We updated the air conditioning system. This has got uh, uh, Resto Mod Air. You got two center vents there in the console that look like they belong in the car. Yes. That, that comes out of there. That and was then never there, yeah. Under the dash there and under the dash on the other side. Wow. I'll never, ever get rid of this car. Amen. It's, it's, this car should stay it's, with you forever. This is, I, all my life I've been going. If I get an Avanti, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it so that I can drive it every day. Yep. And it will never go out of style. Do All it. right, let's see the engine. And, oh, and yeah. you can drive it every day. Yeah, oh, that's I, the that's beauty it. of it. See, I love that. We talked about that when we first started. Yeah. It's a daily driver. Yep. Now, what you had in here before yeah. was the uh, the 289 for the Avanti. Yeah. The engine on that one was pushing out 240 horsepower. Yeah. What you've got in here now is a 302. Uh -huh. uh, this one is now pushing uh, 330 horsepower. Great. So your horsepower has gone up dramatically. Yes. But on top of that, the car itself went on a major diet. So it's a lot lighter yes. and a lot more horsepower. Ah, so cool. this thing's a stinker. And I'm oh, going to show yeah. you the engine So now. what he's saying is be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He would never tell me to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh. Pretty is that. She really came out great. Yeah, and that industrial uh, radiator. The, the huge aluminum radiator, because you know you're yeah. in Arizona. Oh yeah. Your modern AC compressor. Yeah. It's uh, it's the serpentine belt setup on the front, so that's simplified right there. Uh, you've got the Holly Sniper fuel injection setup on it, so it's turn the key and go. You got your MSD ignition backed it up with the AOD automatic overdrive trans. So now you got overdrive in the car. Ah, okay. So the entire front frame of this car. Very big, very bulky, very heavy. The cross member itself was this huge yeah. piece of steel. It was just insane. Yeah. We took all that out. Yeah, the you can see you can see the, the ground before it was just stuff. With this new subframe setup, you got power rack and pinion steering. Yeah. It's tight. It steers properly. The car had drum brakes. Well, now we've got we've got disc brakes. We've got power disc brakes. Yes. You said you wanted to drive this car every it's, day. This car is ready to drive. It, it looks every like it just day. came. It looks like it just came off the showroom floor. We are so <laughs> not done. Absolutely. We're going to continue on. If you notice in the back. I love this. That package tray. Look at that. All custom made. Yeah. And form fitting for the seats. Oh yeah. And my man Ryan, he and the paint crew went off on. All of the gaps, yes. all of the body lines, straightens everything out. It, it's it's so perfect. And he laid down just this gorgeous Wimbledon white. You can drive it every day. It's it's completely dependable. But now you even have more horsepower and less weight. But it's so straight. The guy that designed this car, he designed this, the Barbie doll, and the Learjet. 
Oh, nice. I mean, you can see it. It's got Learjet in it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you it's can got, tell. It's got yeah. that DNA in it. Yep. 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 You know? It looks longer now. Well, because it got lower. Yeah. I, I took it. the back down yeah. about two inches, took the yeah. front down about three inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And measured for a correct offset on the wheels to, to, to fill love, out those I, fender I, wells. I love the, the rake on it. Just sits right. So True Spoke made these wheels for me. And they're uh, 15 sevens in the front, but they're 15 nines in the back. Yeah. And it just fills out. It's the flying those... wedge. Right. Brother, what I want to know right now, sir, stamp of approval. It's now my number one car. <laughs> we have to name her because she's dangerous. Yes. She's elegant. Yes. And yeah. you know what keeps coming to me? The Countess. <laughs> Because the Countess was always an elegant vampire in white. Yeah. Right. And if you're not careful, she'll get you. Oh. Right. Yeah. It's magnificent. It really is. I'm so glad you yeah. take it. Kev, do me a favor, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Put her back okay. uh, in there. Yep. And uh, Alice and I are going to go in the office, and we're going to talk about getting it home. That's a great. Done deal. Thank, Thank you. Done Thanks, deal. man. So it is the most elegant looking creature I think I've ever owned. If I saw this car drive up, I would roll the window down and say, how much? Whatever you say, I'm buying this car. So it's now part of the family. And don't forget to sharpen her fangs, okay? <laughs> I got it, I got it. Man, what an honor to meet an honest to goodness rock and roll legend, Alice Cooper. And what a bigger honor to even work on his favorite car. This is so cool. And I'm so proud of my team, man. They worked so hard to put that giant smile on his face when that car came out the gate. It was just a beautiful thing, I know. Mr. Alice Cooper himself is going to have a ball ripping around the streets of Phoenix when he gets his baby home. I'll keep cranking out his hits from Schools Out all the way to his new record, Detroit Stories, which I highly recommend. All I can say is Alice is one cool cat. Now he's got an amazing cool car to drive every day. I am so proud of my team for making this happen.